Okay, so I was just sitting here talking to Hillary, who's a producer, about a show that we're going to be working on. His name is California Chrome. He even has his own fan club called the Chromies. Since you are a Chromie and you're also a cowbred, <laughs> it's official. I'm now a Chromie. Even Dubai, they had a few Chromies that were there. And of course, we were talking about, you know, where I came from, you know, getting background. And then I find out that this producer who lived in LA for how many years? 18. 18 years, works in the television business, is pro-gun for one, and has her concealed carry, which I thought was awesome. How, how did you get your concealed carry again? Well, my, my husband had uh, decided he wanted to get his concealed. I just felt like if that was important to him that I should learn how to do it. Yeah. So my first time though, we went with a friend of ours and they, they had a, um, a 380. Oh yeah. And it was tiny and I shot it and it terrified me because as women, we tend to experience everything. So we, we smell, we see, we feel, we hear it all. Mm -hmm. So as I was, you know, experiencing that, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know that I can do this. Because this is like, this is real. So it took a little bit of back training and just just be really confident in just holding it and, and all the things that go around having yeah. a conceal. After I got over that, I became a Glock girl. And I think I scored higher than my husband on our conceal test. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and um, and I, I love it. I mean, I, I feel like I don't practice enough, but I feel like it's really important in this country now that, you know, we need to have our rights and yeah. we need to have the right to bear arms. And um, I need to know that if I need to, I can be safe if I want to be safe and I can protect the people around me when you know, when seconds count and the police are minutes away, I want to be the good guy. Yeah, and exactly. Here in Texas, what's really cool about the concealed carry licenses in the concealed carry community is that it's kind of considered the good guy card. People have this myth that people who have guns are, um, you know, radical and um, horrible criminals. Do I look like a horrible criminal? No. <laughs> so, well, you know. Okay, living in LA, did, was it something that you thought you needed then? Looking back on it, I wish I had, because yeah. there were times when I was in um, neighborhoods that were not safe, or I was with, I was a single mom, and I was with my daughter, and we didn't live in a very safe neighborhood. So, just, I was always having to use just more of my, like, fear senses, yes. as opposed to my confidence senses of, I'm going to be able to protect my daughter and me and keep us safe. Mm -hmm. I know when I was in LA, to think about carrying a gun on me, like I was, I was telling um, my friends out here, like I used to have to walk down an alleyway to get to my apartment after school, and I would be so scared. Yeah. And my aunt gave me mace to carry, but right. like to carry a gun, I feel like would have been totally different. Absolutely, you know? it wasn't even an option. Yeah. So I became a fast runner, <laughs> and I carried mace like you. I mean, and that's not necessarily an option. And you were saying something earlier about, um, you know, being a mother. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of people don't think about moms needing to carry or wanting to carry. Right. One of my favorite stories of an example of a mom was um, her husband had just taken her to the range and just taught her how to use a gun. And while she was home, someone broke in. And this guy was all intent on hurting anybody. So she grabbed her two boys, called her husband on the phone, ran upstairs, got in the closet, and he talked her through, all right, here's the gun. And, and while this was all happening, he was calling 911, and, yeah. and he, um, police were on their way. But here's a perfect example of when, when seconds count and police are minutes away, she had to respond quickly because this guy was breaking down the door. Yeah. So she had to shoot through the door to protect herself and her kids. That's scary. So it would have been a different news story yeah. if she didn't have the opportunity to protect her family. So oh. she, she shot him several but times. She did. And this was, this was what was crazy is he didn't go down right away. So he was, I don't know what he was on, but yeah. he was... Sometimes, you know, it's like with the drugs that are out there, they, they don't stop. They don't stop running. Well, that just goes to show you, like, for instance, like the mace versus the gun. If uh, you were in a situation like that, like, the mace isn't going to stop somebody. No. All it'll do is just, like, you know, yeah, they're gonna deter power their eye, eye a little bit. Yeah. But yes, I thought it was crazy. Another gun owner, another positive concealed carry 
uh, pro gun actors. I think it's awesome. I know. And yeah. I mean, it's so rare that I meet somebody that works in the television business yes. that lives in LA. Yeah. You know, it's positive about this stuff because so many of my friends out there, I don't really even want to talk to them about it because I already know that they're going to be like, uh, we don't. We're not for that. Like they yep. just don't understand. I feel like. Yeah, I actually had an opportunity to work on a film recently, and um, it was being shot in rural Texas, mm -hmm. and the filmmakers were from New York. So that, it, it, just as in LA, that was just not something that that was like normal for them. And they actually had said they were going to hire a sheriff to come because they wanted someone with a gun to be there. Yeah. In case they ran into wild animals and I was like I, I can just bring my gun and yeah. they were like what oh my gosh so and they're the most anti-gun ever but in this moment they were thrilled to have me and my husband was also there with me to kind of protect them and keep them yeah. safe when people have never been in that scenario where they've had to think am I safe here or right. do I need something to protect myself then they want it but you know, otherwise, if you don't put yourself in that situation or think it could happen to you, then of course they don't think they need it. But why wait till you need it to have it, you know? Well, and the media villainizes mm -hmm. um, people who have guns or people who carry guns. They assume that, that someone like me is a criminal or, or that, you know, I must be insane yeah. because I, I have a gun, you know? But and that's not, not the case? No. <laughs> Well, thanks, Hillary, for sharing your story with me. I had to get her on camera real quick because we were just chatting about it, but You're it's welcome. awesome. You're welcome. It was great to chat with you. Well, guys, how awesome was that? Totally just had this meeting and come to find out a person that I never would have thought Heather Concealed Carry had it. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Um, Hillary's an amazing woman, and she totally makes me think, you know, there are people from California or that lived in California and worked in the film business that believe the same thing I do. I'm not the only person. And I know there's more of you out there. So if you're thinking about getting your concealed carry, you're not alone. We can do this together. Be proud of your beliefs. And yeah, that's my advice of the day.